Uh, <clears throat> hey guys. My friend just made this for me, and I really like the first few paragraphs, and it's so utterly beautiful that I just need to document my first reading of this. Please go support her. I'll uh, link to her uh, Wattpad account in the description below. But for now, this is a reading of... Of my OC Null x Spongebob Squarepants. <clears throat> Here we go. Null's point of view. Hmm, this place is certainly odd. I mumble under my breath, thinking the waters of the deep Pacific. Quite salty, but I'll deal with it. You see, I'm here just because I wanted to see the deep depths of these waters. I somehow managed to get myself an underwater breathing potion. It tasted horrific, but I've had worse. I smirk, kneeling down and brushing the sand against my hand, and picking a handful of the soft powder-like substance and letting it seep out between my fingers. I get up and wander over to the town. It took a few minutes. It was quite small and cute. I look around and finally end up in the front of the restaurant. The Krusty Krab, I say aloud, looking at the light purple clam with the words painted in on it in bright red paint along with its lovely crafted bamboo stick holding it up. <clears throat> I then look over at the actual restaurant. It had a few nice silky flags hanging across it, and the structure had wooden outside with finely cut wood. I finally go up to the shiny glass doors and open them, up to be met with a cute little ship steering wheel tables that are red and yellow, accompanied by wheelbarrows as seats. They were rustic, which gave the place a nice touch. <clears throat> I then walk over to the cash register, which had a squid who had a large nose and a uniform on, and honestly, he quite frankly looked annoyed. I shrugged it off and went to order. What do you want? He questioned as he slumped in the boat he sat in. Hold on, I'm looking, I hissed. He rolled his eyes and grabbed the magazine, mumbling something incoherent. I looked up at the menu, my eyes skimming over it until I just saw on the Krabby Patty. One Krabby Patty, please. I mumble. He looked up for a moment before yelling into the window behind him, SpongeBob, one Krabby Patty. He then went back to reading his magazine. I take a peek into the window and see an absolutely breathtaking boy. He was yellow foals all about his body. He had a cute nose and a goofy smile. His teeth standing out, out adding personality. He looked at me and my heart skipped a beat. He waved and added a wink. He then proceeded to go back to cooking. Soon after, he looked through the window and to laugh a bit, the squid had fallen asleep. He came through the door by the boat and went over to my table, placing the burger delicately in front of me. Enjoy! He perked up and then went back to his kitchen. I felt disappointed after he left, but I looked at the burger and it looked amazing, so I decided to eat it. It was the best thing I have, that I have ever had. The flavor is bursting in my mouth. I closed my eyes, savoring it. I took a few more bites until I had eaten the whole thing. I got up to leave until I was stopped. I looked behind I looked behind up. Alright. See yellow boy the yellow boy. He looked at me with pure glee in, that, in his eyes. He smiled and spoke. Before you go, can I talk to you? He asked. I blushed a bit and been crossed my arm. W what for? It's not like I care or anything though. I raised my voice a tad. <clears throat> I just want you to follow me. I just want to talk to you. Follow me. I sighed. Fine. I said, looking away. I followed him into the kitchen. It was pretty standard, but the, but with, but it was taking care. Damn it. Okay. <sighs> I'm sorry. This is just insanely spicy. It was pretty standard, but it was taken care of with love. He got up close to me and in response. To that, I blushed even more and inverted my gaze. He tilted my head up with his hand gently and looked in my, into my eyes. His bright blue ones, which looked like a clear sky, meeting my white ones. You are one of the cutest girls I've seen in this city, he whispered into my ear. And lowered, and lowered below my head, his teeth grazing across my neck. <laughs> I squirmed from the sensation. All of a sudden, I hear, Are you feeling it, are you feeling it now, Mr. Krabs? <laughs> From another room, I decided not to question it. <laughs> Spongebob laughed and pulled away from me. 
Maybe we should go somewhere else. I'll take you to Jellyfish Fields. I shrugged. I guess he took that as a yes since he grabbed my hand and pulled me along with him. We walked for a while until I see seagrass and a bunch of jellyfish. It was a lovely sight. He looks around for a while until he finds something. He smiled and grabs a small chest. The sight was a blanket and jelly along with bread. I always keep an emergency picnic chest. He grinned, sitting down the blanket and food. He sits down and pats beside him. I flop onto the blanket looking at the horizon. It was a nice sight, but pretty blues along with the soft greenery and pink jellyfish around us really made the perfect place. I didn't notice, but, Sp but Spongebob scooted closer to me, his leg brushing up against my thigh. <laughs> I I'm sorry. I felt a shiver through me from the feeling. Eventually, he grabbed four bread pieces and placed his jelly on two pieces of the bread. He proceeded to place the remaining two pieces on top of each, complementing two jelly sandwiches. He handed me one, and I hesitantly accepted. We both ate in a comfortable silence, until we both finished by the time the sun was starting to go down. The blue waters turned to beautiful yellow to red hue, the sun slowly sliding down. <clears throat> Spongebob turned to me and looked at me lovingly. I think you have a little something on your face. Let me get it for you, he commented. Before I could protest, he leaned in and kissed me, leaving off the jelly from my lips. Even if he was just taking the jelly off, it was pa it was just passionate. He pulled away and winked at my and winked at me as his hand meeting my hand and his other on my thigh. We continued to have a deep kiss, closing both our eyes. <laughs> I regret life. Help me. Well, that was good shit. Good shit, lads. Good shit. Yeah, I'll copy the link to that story and put it in the description. <clears throat> I read this a 10 out of 10. Perfect story. I can't wait to see the second chapter, if there will be one. Everybody up of this. I want this to be the most popular story on her, on her Wattpad account. I'm not kidding. This is beautiful. In any case... This has been a reading of the highly acclaimed romance novel Null X Spongebob. I'll see you all I'll see you all next time.